then so one question i did have is so you've worked you did that in um, rugby and obviously you main you're now in football and stuff so what would you say is the main differences from a fitness and conditioning point of view like what what did you i know that was early in your career and maybe you've learned things since then but what would you say are the main yeah. differences um well firstly they're, they're obviously two completely different physical output sports rugby is a lot of contacts um there's not probably much distance covered in rugby compared to yeah. um in football obviously football is a lot more continuous rugby is a lot of stop start there's a lot of tackles going on there's a lot of line outs etc um the players with more higher speed work and more the wingers uh fullbacks um whereas in football everyone's at this day and age now in formations and how uh, expansive some teams play people's physical outputs during the game are are through the roof uh, especially as and it's developed even more so in the in the five six years that i've been doing it um obviously i dropped down into non-league level after shrewsbury uh, which we can obviously touch on a little bit later which i think is another good option for for the students etc um but especially in the last five, six years that I've been doing it, the, the physical capacity and the demands of the game has changed hugely, um, especially with the types of um, styles that people like to play now um, and the levels, obviously, that I've gone up in. That, that That's the difference. So we played, we played Chelsea last year in the FA Cup um, and we took them all the way to the 100, well, extra time. We, we missed the penalty in the 19th minute, actually, to take them to Pens. But... Technically, obviously, they're, they're super, superb. Uh, we on the day were very good technically and did what we did, but it was the, I wouldn't say the fitness element of things, it was the how quick they did things, the sharpness of it, um, the intensity that when they had a little spell on the ball, it was like mind-blowing of how quickly they do things. And that's just because of how good of an athlete they actually are. Yeah. Um, and I'm not saying our boys are not good athletes. They are, they're superb what they do. They're conditioned well. Uh, they look after themselves, but that next level of yeah. having that, they've had the top, they've got the top facilities of everything. They've got the top recovery stuff. They've got the top um, gym facilities, whatever it is. Um, they've got the chefs with them every day. They have chefs with them on a night at, the, at their own house and stuff like that. It's it's a different level. And all those 1% in different areas add up to be you becoming a superb athlete. Um, so rugby was obviously a premiership rugby that I was in. So obviously they were, they have great facilities, um, yeah. superb um, international players from all across the world. Yeah, um, and it was more the the physical impact of stuff. And would I say they work harder than footballers? Um, potentially, just because they do more. So they'll have. We I used to get in at like five o'clock in the morning. They had their first gym session at like half past seven. Then they'd have a skill session after breakfast. Mm-hmm. Then they'd have a training session. Then they come in after training session, have lunch, and after lunch they'll have another gym session, and that was every day. Right. Um, so, whereas football is more based upon trying to have a little bit more recovery, then we'll go for a gym kind of session on in midweek if we haven't got a game from a from a lowest point of view and lowest strength. We'll have a day off in between. We'll I then have a upper session on a Thursday. Well, this is just how my philosophy is uh, alongside training. Friday is a little bit lighter than travel if we're away, and then just play game Saturday. So it's a bit more. I wouldn't say wrapped up in cotton wool, but it's a bit more structured in the sense of these guys, the intensity that these guys play is is through the roof compared to rugby. Uh, yeah. Rugby is obviously just takes a lot more impacts and mm. uh, on that side of things. Um, and obviously they, they weigh a lot more. They've got a lot more muscle mass yeah. um, and they eat a lot more. <laughs> very true, very.